welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and reviewing Lulu. Lulu was a watch this morning and we didn't do it out of the gate and the irony is we could have, but I kept going back to it and looking at it. And then I called a late trade in this, which you could have scalped and you could still be in it. It's We got two more hours left to go. Anyways, and, and then, then I called an option in it and I'm like, is this too late? And I'm like, no, actually it's not too late. <laughs> And I saw on the internet today that some people are long this stock. They are long Lulu. And Lulu is a short today. And I say to myself, this is the exact reason that why what I do is so special, so unique, so specific. And I knew that Lulu was a short today. So you would either be in a put in Lulu or you would be short Lulu. You would not go long Lulu here. This, this is, this, this could go. And I'm just, you know, again, it depends on the market in the next two days here, but look at this. I mean, look, this, if this, listen, if this starts to break 310, this could tank, tank and run all the way down to 300. And then I don't know if it's gonna find its footing at 300. Cause if it doesn't find its footing at 300, if it does break 310, if it does continue to tank, if the market's lower Thursday and Friday, if this keeps going down, this can fall rather quickly, just like it did today. This was an earnings. This was a gap down in earnings. It was a short. I rated it in the pre-market. It rated well enough to short today. That's why I called the short in the put. But I'll tell you right now, this has a long way to go down if it breaks 300. And this could find its footing somewhere, but honestly, who knows? So you would, you would, you would never, never be long this um, to make any money in the short term here. And I just want to point out the gap. Again, what do I do? I look at gaps. What's the gap? It's a difference between the close and the open. Not every gap down is a short. Not every gap up is a long. However, this was a short. This closed last night at 349.80. Boom. Open in the morning here at 334.83. Nice drop off here today. I mean, look at that move. Low today was 315.25. And again, this is hanging on by a thread. Two hours left to go. It could continue to fall. I don't think this is going to hold itself up today and retrace. It's never going to go green by the close. And I'm not even sure if this is going to bounce at all. This looks dead. Dead as a doornail. So I like the Lulu. Had a quick play in it today. If you're still in it, it's fine. If you're in the put, it's fine. You could have scalped the trade, trade, trade scalp the put. You could still be in this. Um, and again, that 310 area is critical. And actually, I'm going to say 315 because we really didn't break that today. 315, 310, 300. These are the levels you have to watch in this. And um, again, two hours left in the day. This really could, uh, this has plenty of time left. In fact, let's look at the market here quickly. I just want to see here. We're going to run out of steam in this market, and we're running out of steam right now. Yep. All right, good luck with the Lulo, people. Email me, Melissa, the stockswoosh.com if you want to sign up for the next Golden Gap class. The bullish class is in September. The next bearish class is October. And uh, we'll be watching the Lulu. Thanks, everybody.